All right. Hello, folks. My name is Roblox Space. We are going to do a small video today over the Eternal City and the city geography. Um, the world itself is ginormous. Last I heard, it was over 800,000 custom built rooms, and um, the, the world is expansive. But what I wanted to really do is explain the main parts of the city where you need to go as somebody who's new to it. Um, the game itself has really uh, convenient mark points that allow you to walk from certain places to other places to kind of find a way around. And then there is the wiki that has all the maps there, which I will post down below. So you can kind of look through and find a way and I highly recommend exploring. Uh, one of the fun things about this game is digging into the maps and, and going around, finding new shops, finding new places, stuff like that. So that being said, we are currently at the toga. How do I know that? If I was to walk the toga, I'm already here. As you can see, a lot of these in the city mark points are going to have constables there. Constables are like uh, policemen. The guys going to be sitting here. Um, the toga itself is down here. It's one of the... Uh, used to be a, a big gathering place for a lot of different roleplay. Not so much anymore. Times have kind of changed. But that's right here. If I bring up the map, that's what I'm doing right now. Let's give you a quick peek. Right now, we are going to be right here at this orange square. Now, this is the entire city map. As you can see, there is quite a lot to it. Each of these are uh, pieced together uh, from the different maps that you can, like I said, you'll see from the wiki. But right now, we are at what they call the Riverside. This would be the Togra right here. Um, we are going to walk to a couple of other places, these other orange squares that you can see here. Some of the more notable places are like this one right here. This is going to be the well. If you come over here, this is going to be the bank. Scroll this way. Right over here, this is the Coliseum. Uh, a lot of the uh, more veteran players uh, like to train on the humanoid NPCs here. But this is the, the Coliseum right here. This mark point is going to be your bronze lane. And these on up here are going to be on your way headed out of the city. We will uh, go over those at another time. As you can see, that it's this, and this is just the city. There is quite a lot to this game. So. We are going to head back into the game. Now, what, as long as you're on one of the main roads, uh, as, a, as a new character, you're able to kind of find your way, no problem. The first place we're going to do is we're going to walk to the back. We'll walk to the, the well here. There is not anything of note actually at the well, but it kind of starts giving you an idea of where you are. Most of the time, you're going to be going from the island then you're going to be going, you know, maybe exploring the harbor a little bit, trying to find a place to get some food uh, other than just rations, um, which I will show you. Uh, it's nearby the place where I showed you where to scrub nets in the other video. But now we're going to walk our way to the well. This is just a little bit to the uh, southeast from the toga. March, march, march. Uh, again, not a huge mark point for things that you're actually going to use, just to kind of give you an idea. This this point on the map you can actually get to a lot of different places from here. Uh, 
We're now going to head to the back. It's one of the places that you're going to use a ton. The toga, the baths, the bank, uh, especially as a new character. You, you'll sell some of your stones maybe and uh, the stone seller. Um, but you're going to spend a lot of time at these main mark points until you start exploring more and more of the game world. So this one right here. I always thought it was interesting. There is no constable when you walk to the bank. So as you can see, if you look right down here on the map, if you look, there's no constable. But if you head north from Mark Point, you'll have your old bank clerk, your young bank clerk, and your constable, right? Uh, you needed to ask them, you would say something like, Inventory. You can also whisper. You can also whisper inventory to the bank clerk if you wish. As you can see, I got five talents, two cents, 17 dinars, one cent. Nothing to jump up and down about, but something uh, good for training at least. So, we know where the toga is. That's where you want to grab a drink. We walked to the well. We made our way farther along. One of the next points that you're going to want to learn. Bronze. We're going to start walking towards Bronze Lane. Bronze Lane is going to be to the northeast from here. As I was saying, it's from the northeast from here. You're gonna walk along this way a little bit. You're gonna head up north. Bronze Lane has your, the Ludus. It has the locksmith trainer. It has some of the, um, some of the base armor that you're gonna buy. They're available all in that area. There's also a whips trainer and some other things. Again, that's what the maps are for. But I wanted to, to give the, some of the more important places that you needed to learn where to get to. And this is one of the ones that you'll know when you're there because there will be a constable there. Uh, once we do uh, Bronze Lane, we will go walk towards the hospice. hospice. And uh, then we'll head back towards the toga for um, one of the places that has a uh, some rations and torches, which can be helpful too. Right here, we got our constable here. You head to your west. You have your ludus, right? So this was the guy who had some of the, the basics here. The only trains to 10. Head back out. Um, from here, if you head to the north, you see where the road starts to kind of widen up. Look here, there's uh, the locksmith. Trains you all you need to know to get going if that is your non-com profession. And then, if you head back south here, this is where you find your constable. If you head to the east, all in this area up here to the northeast, right? There's all sorts of shops here. So, it's, um, you know, boots, scabbard, sheets, some underwear, water skin shovels, um, nothing, you got a stave shop, nothing that's uh, going to be super custom, you're going to want to go to Bellarans for that, but a lot of your basic sort of stuff is here, you got a gladius shop, a little walk to 
Well, let's get you to the hospice. Coliseums. Eh, we'll walk to there and then we'll go there. So, Coliseum. Coliseum is. There's actually two entrances to the Coliseum. There's a northern and a southern. Um, doesn't really matter which way you come in, but uh, most people will walk to because you can see it's a lot easier. You can just stand back and uh, let your character walk, and then you can head north and down in from there. Some people like to go from Bronze Lane and then come down. And for that. As I was saying, we were right here. Let's see where the mouse is, that's that orange square. We're gonna walk down here. This is the Coliseum mark point. However, you could end up coming this way and then heading south. They both bring it to the Coliseum. This is just happens to be the mark point. This is your Coliseum walk point. Um, most notably uh, that you have right here is the, the rat pit rats that are down here to the southeast. Folks will come here because it's uh, very easy. You can see there's somebody already here. Rats pop up. You stab them, you jab them. It's uh, very easy to gain skill points there once you're kind of at the end of your uh, skill point cycle. That is for another video. So now we're gonna walk to the hospice. This is the kind of the last big place you need to, to be able to know how to get to. <coughs> Say something stabs you, you're bleeding, you break a bone. Um, maybe one of those rats right there bites you and you get uh, diseased. You're gonna have to go here and um, you're gonna have to find a healer. Hopefully they can set your bone, stitch you up, put a bandage on you. Uh, if you do get diseased, not a super um, big occurrence, but you know, it could happen. One of those rats gets you. Um, then you may have to take some tonic. Once we uh, get to the hospice, to, uh, the hospice you, uh, if you're a healer, that's where you're gonna train. So if you're a locksmith, you're up at Bronze Lane to the north. And if you're a healer, you actually end up going to the hospice and you practice there. They both have non-player characters, NPCs that will show up that you can unlock and lock things for at the locksmith and you know at the healer place, you're able to heal NPCs there. And that's how you gain skill points over time. Uh, like I said, once I show you that, we'll go retrace our steps, we'll go back to the bank. We'll go from the bank back to the toga. From the toga, we already know how to go diving for clams to get money and muscles. We know uh, that was in my other video. So then we'll be good with that video, with this video for now. Uh, the next video I do plan to do is a, a bigger world geography uh, map. Kind of hoping I could get some, uh, some GM help with that. I'd love to dig into a little bit more of the game lore, but all right, so I'm gonna speed this up here. See it starts filling in the map. Again, no constable, but it'll tell you stop walking and reach your destination. If you head north from here, you see a nice little guard. Hanging here, he's gonna check you out. No problem for us. Now, if you head to the east, come on up. You're gonna see Malia here. She's healing somebody already. If you needed to be healed, all you would say is Mel. Heal me, if I needed to be healed. She'll take some money from you, she'll sit you down, she'll stitch you up. I recommend trying to find a player to help you out though. They're not gonna put as many bandages on you. you go one north from here, you head to the west, you head one north, and you're gonna see the uh, healing trainer. All of your trading stuff, both the materials and your skills are gonna be here with her.
all the stuff you're gonna need all in one wonderful little spot the this this whole area is actually really nice to just hang out and to do some fun role play in but these are the big points you need to know again here's your hallway intersection to the west to the north you've got your trainer and if you happen to be bleeding go to the intersection go east and south Yummy. You want me to continue? No, because I don't need any healing, thank you. Alright. That's our general mark point geography. I'll go back to the toga. So now if you remember on that big large map. We right here. We're gonna make our way this way, up this way, here is the bank, from here we're gonna make our way up through the forums, past the well, a little bit more, bam, right back here is the toga. But you can see, we've already been all over the place in the city. Move this up a little bit here. Bronze Lane up here. Coliseum. The hospice. We made our way to the bank. The well. We're make our way back to the toga. And the best part about the walk to command is, this, like I said, as long as you're on one of these, you know, large flagstone forum spaces, all you need to do is type walk to, and as a new uh, player, it's going to get you there. And then eventually you start getting comfortable with the map, and you're like, oh, I know where I am. So, this is what I wanted to show you before we left off with this. Right here is your constable. We're at the toga, remember? Here's Constantine. Go to the north. If you go to the east and you go south, this is Phaedra. When you first created your character, this is where you showed up. Whew. If you had one, I'm oh sorry, one, two, three to the east, you're gonna see you can either go north or south or into another building. You wanna head north a little bit. I may have showed you this before. Here's good old Seth. Seth is your provisioner. When you're brand new, he's gonna have all the little things that you need. You've got your food rations. Maybe you can make some friends who uh, make food for you. But until then, you've got a basic backpack, some rope, a flask of oil. If you happen to have a lantern, if you don't, again, that's all right here. If you want to be a, uh, go fishing, you got some worms here, water skin, torches. This guy sells it all. And it, he's right nearby. Uh, if you remember from the other video, if I head just directly west here, this should be. Net mending. So it's all pretty much in the same area. Well, I hope you. I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, my name is Roblank Space. This was just a general city geography. The, the world is ginormous. Um, but those are some of the mark points that I think are important to know when you're first coming into the game and where they are in relation to each other within the city. There's still more beyond that. There's Quartz Heights, there's the Steps, uh, there's out to the Carcass Spires, but you'll start learning those throughout time. This is more of a, I'm new to tech, I have my new character, I know where the Ludus is, I know where the, the goals are, where's some of this other stuff. So now you've got kind of an idea. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully the next video that you'll be seeing will be the one on kind of the world geography and maybe a little bit about uh, the lore behind the different cultures. Thank you for watching, bye.